It is so windy here. We uh, feel like we're going to get blown away. So we're in Yamba. We've come here for the triathlon, which is on tomorrow. We came yesterday and set up our camp. Got our tent all set up, ready to go. This is my bike in the background. So today we are just hanging out, doing pretty much nothing. A bit of carb loading, some arrowroot biscuits and coffee. There's a swim this afternoon. I'm doing 300 meters. Yeah. What are you doing? 750 meters. And then the 300 after, because I've got half an hour to finish 750. Then I'll make 300 meter start with you. Here we are thinking that might get two or three people for this swim. The night, the afternoon before the race. And we were wrong. Heaps coming down. Awesome. All swimmers ready. How was that? 140 per 100. I want to do 139 per 100, so very close. Considering I've done no swimming, I'm happy with that. So we just did the 300 and I did 60601. Well, more, don't worry about that, you did 147 per 100. 147 per 100. You've never done that before in the near two years I've known you, so. Lucky draw time. We've got our lucky ticket, 72 and 70. We're going thousand to win a thousand dollars. Are we losers? We're not losers, we're winners. <laughs> we lost. So tomorrow is a sprint triathlon. So 750 meter swim, 20k ride, and a 5k run. All really flat. I think the water will be really flat to swim in. Bike course is flat, just two laps and out and back and then the run course along the water so it should be pretty so i'm just getting my stuff ready i've got my tri suit and my bra i'm wearing that goggles and then i get my cap in the morning when i register and then when i get off out of the swim i have to put my bike shoes on i've got socks not sure whether i wear them for a short distance but I'll take them down to transition anyway and see. And my helmet. Have glasses, I don't know whether I wear those in on the bike or not. I'll decide that in the morning. Then when I come off the bike, obviously take this off, take this off, and then put on my running shoes, my running belt, which I'll get the race number tomorrow, hat, and then I'll probably wear the glasses with that. Got my nutrition ready, that's to go on my bike. Uh, infinite speed for less than three hours because this better be less than three hours otherwise there's a problem and some cliff blocks which I may or may not use on the run but I'll take a look so just pop all that in the bag and I'm ready to go to transition race morning it's 5 30 so it's time for cereal and banana and a coffee and then we'll go down to registration and get all the stickers and stuff and my cap and then back my bike. So that's where you come in on the swim. Bit of a jungle run through the sand. And then through here to transition. Bit of confusion about the transition areas. So you go to point second. A lot of confusion. So always come out of transition this way. There's your mount line on the bike, you'll come in on the other side 
and then here's where you go out to start your run. Right there, run exit. Make sense? Makes sense. I'll be behind people anyway, I'll just follow. Well, well you never know. <laughs> and they're off. I actually went hard from the beginning, which is not something I normally do. I often in the swim panic a little bit and go, just can't get my breath. Look at that water, stunning. Yeah. So I was in the second wave. Uh, the opens went first and then women over 40 went second. But one of the things that frustrates me a lot with how I had been swimming in the past was I'd come out after the swim and all the bikes were gone. So there were still quite a few of them there. So that surprised me. That was really cool actually. That was, um, gave me a bit of confidence then going out on the bike. Well done, honey. Looking good. Yeah, doing great. It's really congested out in the course. The lanes were quite narrow and there wasn't a lot of overtaking spots. So there was a few spots where I kind of got stuck behind someone else and couldn't overtake and just had to slow down a bit. So it wasn't a particularly fast course on the bike. I knew roughly where it went, kind of had in my head where it was going, but there was a few turns at the beginning, um, which slowed me down. My corner cornering is not the fastest and that kind of slowed me down a little bit. And there was a long stretch out on one road. It's actually a gentle incline or a gradual incline. I didn't realize that there was an incline until I started seeing my um, speedo dropped down and I was like this is getting harder but then obviously at the turnaround came back the other way and it was great because it was downhill. Uh, going back out on the second lap um, I was going around a roundabout and um, a young boy in front of me uh, fell off his bike and I had to swerve to miss him. I looked back and there was a volunteer right there and another cyclist had stopped so I kept going. Um, I kind of felt a bit awkward about Still going but I knew he had help so and it wasn't a bad fall because we were just around the roundabout he wasn't going too fast. So here comes one of our mates Leela she's winning the open women's first woman. Go Leela! Nice work Leela. Come on punch it fight here. Here she comes starting the run. Breathing heavy which is good. Done honey. And the run felt good for probably the first two Ks and then started to feel it. And then I kind of had to just turn my mind around a little bit and go, it's only five Ks. I normally run a lot longer than that. Probably the third K, the middle one was the hardest. And then you come back around past transition again. And I was like, oh, okay, it's not too far to go now. I can, um, I can do this. Hun, honey, you're almost there. Good work. The chaos at the finish line, trying to find Amanda. There she is. There's crown slashes in that round here. There's the star. How'd you go? Um, I don't think I went that great. Oh, I thought you looked really good. The run got me, especially the last two Ks. Okay, was it a hot? I think it was one, one Oh, well. 124. All up. Well, that's good. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> Bloody A. That's a true swim, remember? Yeah. This wasn't a Kingscliff title swim. That's awesome, honey. 124. And then well my done. last, after about 3K, so I was like done on the run. Well done. Yeah. Proud of you. Come on, get down. So here's our star FEMA. Hey, Tim. First. Road win, I believe. No, no I got second. Oh. Come on. oh, you got second today? Yeah. The women got me at the end. I know. Oh, shit, honey, you're not putting this in. Delete <laughs> that shit. So, the end of the race, transition's emptying. Time for Amanda to get her bike out. And just like that, you're showered over for another year. And there's your little lone bike. 
sitting there by itself. Yeah, there she is. There she is. It's a good bike. Another good performance. Third category, third oh out of God. six. How good's that? I've never been on the podium before. You are clever. Amanda Atta. First, actually, I wasn't too sure that it was a good time, and Tim was like, no, that's a really good time. So then I was like, oh, maybe I did okay. And then I looked at the results and got third. So pretty stoked to get onto the podium. Um, the woman who came first in my age group, 45 to 49, did the, was the fastest woman today. So that's just crazy. If you like these event videos, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to bring you a whole lot more in the coming videos of different events that we do. So please subscribe, like this video as well, give us a thumbs up and comment. You know, if you're a new triathlete and you want to get into triathlon or you've just got any questions about triathlon and training, get in touch, love to have a chat.